Hello, I'd like to share with you a scripture uh, in Colossians uh, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Uh, my name is Bermi Dizon, and it's my hope and prayer that you are doing well and that you are staying safe. Of all the many blessings that we receive, nothing exceeds the blessing of having a relationship with Jesus Christ. That is the summary of these verses that I'd like to share, written by Paul to the Colossians. And the city of Colossia is no different from our uh, today's uh, society because the Christians were often uh, uh, challenged with all kinds of misinformation, all kinds of temptation uh, that the world gives. And so let me just read to you uh, verse 1 to 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above. So this is referring to Christians, those who are raised with Christ. And what does that mean? It says, seek the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. For when, when Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear uh, with him in glory. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, that, that is really inspiring to see that uh, it says that Christ is our life. You know, it's not, it's not just me like Burmese Dizon's life. It, it is Christ that is living in us. But the point of this uh, verse also is, is Paul warning these this Christians, and that is, you know, we are, we are limited as far as humans. And so don't let the world and all the things in the world crowd our minds and our hearts. But instead, it says, hunger and thirst for what is truly most important. And the most important thing of all is our relationship with Jesus. Uh, let us uh, look for standards that is not of the world, not for successful people, not for this world's philosophies, you know, and so forth, but only in Christ. He is the only standard for you and me, and he is the model that we follow. Uh, so I think this is just a good reminder for us, especially those who are struggling with so many things that compete uh, for attention. And God is saying, you know, I love you. You know, you are my beloved. Uh, but please understand that what you need today is not of the things of the world, but what you need is a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that is going to be one of the greatest blessings that you and I can have.